Hello and welcome to my review of the campaign starring Zach Galifianakis, Will Ferrell, Jason Sudeikis, John Lithgow, Dan and Dan Aykroyd. Now, I was actually kind of looking forward to the campaign. I mean, I thought it would be bad, but I seemed to get enjoyment out of it, and I actually did. I laughed a few times in this movie. This film had something that the watch was missing, an element of fun to it. I mean, it's always fun picking at politics, which I think... And, like, they, they're never to one side. They're never to the Republican side or to the Democratic side. They're just bashing politics for what it's become. A mudsling contest, I guess, is the best way I can say it. And I love that. It was an awesome premise, and I really did enjoy it. Let me get into the acting, though. Zach Galifianakis' character will also be brought up in the writing, but he does a phenomenal job of acting in general. I mean, bring, he was perfect for this character. He was really likable, and he was really rooting for him as not Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell was very good in this film, but his character was mean and cruel, but had a very good backstory to him, so in the end, you know, he was good acting. Pretty much all the acting was standard. The biggest problem I had with the movie would be coming up. Okay, so let me get into the directing. It was put together fine. That is all I have to say. The cinematography was fine, everything was fine. Let me get into the writing. The characters were written all very well. The um, at least most of them felt three-dimensional. Well, not most of them, just really Jason Sudeikis. I can't remember his name. I'm sorry. Jason Sudeikis. If, I, if I'm wrong, just forgive me. I haven't seen SNL in a while. That's where I know him from. And Zach Galifianakis and Will Ferrell were all written well, but everyone else kind of felt two-dimensional, and the humor just really, a lot of it felt flat. But I'm a little easy on this one because it has to come into a year with, well, it, it has to come into a hard year with 21 Jump Street, Ted, Magic Mike, just Moon Eyes Kingdom, great comedies. And, you know, so, I, I'm a little easy on comedies, and, honestly, this film, just, a lot of it was really raunchy humor, I like humor that can make you think, but, if raunchy humor's done well, I like it, but, just, it just was, it was stupid humor, although there actually was a phenomenal cameo by a animal actor, who was in a movie not too long ago, but if you've seen the movie, you know who I'm talking about. I mean, that was hilarious. And there was a, there's one subtle joke I don't want to mention until the end, that will be spoilers, and a few jokes I want to mention at the end, that no one got. So it was really just out there humor, and I really did like it. In the end, I'm going to give this film a good time if you don't have to pay. Now I will talk spoilers, so if you have not seen the campaign, please do not continue to watch. Okay, spoiler time. So, Uggy is in this movie. From the artist. That is hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. I thought it was hysterical. And then, uh, and that one subtle joke I was telling you about was when uh, everyone claps after everything they say, and he... Will Ferrell really acknowledges, I was the last person to say something, and everyone just starts clapping. I thought that was hilarious. No one else in the theater got that joke, and none of them laughed. Uh, other than that, just a few, j I can't really think of any more memorable jokes, but it was still a pretty good film. If You don't have to see it in theater, just wait for it to come on TV or rent it. So, please like, favorite, and subscribe.